Hello, and welcome to this overview of Fortinet's Universal ZTNA solution. I'm Peter Newton, Senior Director of Product and Solutions, and I want to share with you what, how Fortinet's ZTNA works and what makes it better than others on the market. First and foremost, ours is a universal ZTNA solution. And really that means that no matter where the user is, we can provide that connection control between users and their application. So no matter where the user is and no matter where the application is, we can apply those ZTNA checks to ensure that only the right users with the right device are accessing those applications. Now, ZTNA is done on a per session basis, so every time someone connects into ZTNA, they're going to get checked. Now, the checks we're talking about, uh, you know, when we when someone goes to initiate a ZTNA session, we're going to take a look at what is the device they're using. You know, what is the ID of that device? Uh, is this a BYOD? And what is the policy for users and devices for accessing this application? Once we have the device identified, we'll then ID the user. And you know, here we'll use username and password, but we can also bring in multi-factor authentication if that's necessary. We do, of course, support single sign-on because without that, uh, as users go to launch application after, after application, they'd have to re-authenticate and it'd be overly burdensome. With single sign-on, it can be just you know, launch, launch, launch. And while the checks are taking place and they're happening, it's happening transparent to the user. So the user still has a good experience. Once we've looked at the ID of the device, the ID of the user, we'll then take a look at the posture of that device. What's the state of this device? Should it get access to that application? And we can like take a look at OS. We can see is the AV turned on, um, or you know there's a number of vulnerabilities we can look at, and so we can see are there any red flags that would indicate that this device may not be in an appropriate state. In addition to looking at the device posture, we're also going to look at the user. We can look at uh, contextual information about you know time of day. We can look at uh, information about location, and we can look at behavior of the individual to determine, hey, should this person be accessing this application? Does it meet our uh, standards? And all of these checks are being done for every single application for every single session. And we're continuing to check even during an active session. We're continuing to look at device posture. We're continuing to look at the contextual information around that user to make sure that they should still have access, and we can break an active session as soon as one of those things falls out of policy. Now, the way we do that is through our universal ZTNA architecture. And with this, we're able to put all of our connections through one of our ZTNA application gateways. Now, importantly, this is not a single entity. You know, it's not you know, all connections from these locations uh, have to go through a single point to get to any of these applications. Rather, it's a distributed network of, of enforcement points. So it could be the firewall appliance that's sitting at the headquarters or the branch location, or it could be a SASE instance that a, a home user might be using or someone on the road. It might be a WAF or an ADC sitting in front of a public cloud, um, or you know, it could be the FortiGate sitting on the edge, or you know, VM or appliance uh, sitting on the edge of a data center. But with these various enforcement points, it's a distributed network of connections so that no matter where the connection is coming from or where that application is, we have a point where we will stay in the flow of traffic. So not only will we verify the user and device upon initial connection, but we're there to continue to apply security, continue to apply those checks, and have the ability to break that connection no matter uh, when, if ever the user falls out of policy. This is all, of course, coordinated. You know, we have EMS to distribute our ZTNA uh, flags and keep all the endpoints with FortiClient coordinated with all the enforcement points, as well as identity. So we have a consistent uh, policy or an identity around all these users. Taken together, this gives a solution that has all the flexibility and scalability that is unlike anything else in the market. Others have just the cloud-based capabilities. We have that, plus all these other capabilities to really deliver a scalable and flexible solution that enables customers to have on-prem only, cloud only, or a hybrid of both. In all these cases, Fortinet's solution is truly a universal ZTNA, and that makes it the best solution on the market. Thank you.